Hello, coffee lovers. We're trying Turkish coffee. It was a gift from my mom, and I can't wait to try it. I did a little research, and if I screw it up, I am so, so sorry, and I hope you can correct me. A brief history. It goes back to the 15th century, and it was introduced to the Ottoman Empire by Gemini traders. Traditionally, it is made by mixing fine ground coffee, cold water, and sugar on a pot called the sedzvek, which you see here, which was placed on top of hot sand to heat up the coffee mixture and constantly move. But here we're using a stove because I don't have that. Turkish coffee is considered a tradition because it's been a part of the cultural, social fabric of the region for centuries. This is my first time exploring Turkish coffee and it's a way to appreciate their culture, not to disrespect it. The way I'm preparing it is three ounces of water with one teaspoon of coffee, but this is all depends on how you like the taste and flavor. I tried researching of how to make it, so if I did it wrong, I definitely appreciate a comment on how to do it, as it's my first time and I wish to learn it. You do have to mix it often. I just showed a little bit in the camera as, you know, it takes minutes. It's not like you just turn it on and it goes up. No, it takes minutes. So be patient and just enjoy the aroma that it releases. Once it starts bubbling and forming the froth, remove it and start placing it in your mug. I wanted to do it again so it can look, you know, like, like you're just freshly taking it out, out of the bubbles. Like I did right here, which I'm pretty excited for because it looks so beautiful. I even bought this um, little mugs just specially to make this. I put it again to try to get the froth again, but then I just removed it and just placed it on the mug because it didn't happen. Um, I'm not sure why, but when I make it next time, hopefully I will find out. So here it is. I'm mixing it in. Do you know that Turkish coffee contributed to the coffee house culture in Europe during the 17th century? With England witnessing um, opening its first coffee house in 1652. That for me is amazing. And here I am making my husband try it with me as we love coffee and we enjoy it together. This has been an enjoyable, unique experience. It has a rich and intense taste with a hint of bitterness. And it's a little bit sandy on the texture, but it just adds all that together. And it's a very enjoyable experience. So now I will say, if you're a coffee enthusiast like me, looking for something special to try, Turkish coffee is definitely a must try. Now I believe I need to try this over and over again to just get it right. So if you have a better, unique way, please comment down below. You guys have a nice day.